What do you mean F1? What's F1? So good morning and welcome to another video. Lisa and I are back at Bottle Cove and last night we came down here just over there took some images over there for a sunset uh, excuse the noise of the helicopter above us there but this morning uh, there's a trail just here that's called the South Head Lighthouse Trail and we're going to take that now we're not doing the whole trail we're going to only go as far as there's a there's a cove island cove and there's a waterfall there and we're going to hike to there and see what kind of images we can get it's a nice cool day uh, mist and stuff on the hilltops um, so I'm not sure what the views will be like they might be obscured but we're going to give it a try anyway and see what we get um, guys this I, I, I can't stress enough the biggest problem I have is, is knowing where to point the camera um, and this is the first day I actually stuck the microphone on um, it's just been so rushed uh, just determined to get images so today's our second full day here and a uh, bit of time to relax, enjoy the trail, put some bug spray on and uh, we'll see what we can get. So catch you in a bit. Such a peaceful morning. Mm -hmm. Such a peaceful morning. It's beautiful. Mind your head. So guys, look at this behind me. Absolutely beautiful. We're on the South Head Lighthouse Trail. Now, last night we were up at Sunset Rock, which is actually just there. And if we'd have known, we could have followed the trail. We'd have joined this trail and we'd have had a beautiful sunset from here. But I'm quite happy with the shots I got last night, but there's uh, every chance we're going to come back here at least once more, maybe a couple more times, and uh, I think we'll come around to this point for sunset one night. Absolutely glorious. I did fire off a shot, but we really want to see if we can get up to the waterfall. And of course we have some family stuff going on again tonight. Remember that family stuff? <laughs> we got more of that going on, but that's Newfoundland, and uh, it's all great. So I'm going to catch up to Lisa. And I'll see you in a bit. So when it comes to landscape photography and Newfoundland, there is one big problem. However, it's a good problem. And the problem is, the scenery in this province is so spectacular, you just don't know where to point the camera. Every turn opens up more opportunities for photography. No wonder I chose this location for my F1 landscape photography road trip. So as you can probably tell from this clip, this section of the hike I actually found a little bit strenuous. Not that it's a strenuous hike by any stretch of the imagination, but this one little section just seemed to get the better of me. But it was all worth it in the end, because the views from the top were magnificent. Unfortunately, by the time we got to the top, those lovely misty overcast conditions had dissipated and we were faced with harsh light, clear blue sky, direct sun, which wasn't ideal for landscape photography or waterfall photography. However, like I said, the views were absolutely spectacular and I did manage to capture a few images. So for the gallery at the end, I'll include some images from Bottle Cove from my sunset shoot last night. Oh wow, that is absolutely incredible. Wow. I don't see the waterfall. Holy shit, that's a long way down. <laughs> oh, guys, what did I tell you? Absolutely beautiful. No waterfall yet, I think it's a bit further that way, but yeah. bugs. Need some bug spray, honey. Do it right over the top of your head. I think we need some stronger bug spray next time. Here. 
was like that. So guys, as you can see, we made it to the waterfall. I fired off a few shots, a couple of wider shots, and then zoomed in with the 18 to 55, uh, with the circular polarizer and the four stop. Um, I then tried the 50 to 230 telephoto and zoomed in, but I can't get a slow enough shutter speed. Uh, I even tried holding the filters in front of the lens, because I don't have filters for that lens. Um, I don't know if they're going to work, but I think I got a couple of nice shots, uh, and I'm going to take a few more. It wasn't as far in as we thought. We got here a lot earlier than we thought it would be. It wasn't such a bad hike at all. The trail does continue, but we're not going to do that. We might just see if we can get a different view of the waterfall from just over the other side here, but I think this is probably the best viewing point. Um, but look at this, guys. Just look at this. Isn't that just spectacular? And we're going to go back again. I'm making no excuses. This is just so beautiful. Now, if we just had a little bit of cloud, it would have been absolutely spectacular and I'd have got some nice long exposures here, but uh, wasn't that difficult to get to? Who knows? So guys, there you go, we walked up to the top of the waterfall, uh, the waterfall is just right below me here. Um, Sunset Rock where we were last night is just over the, the top of the, round the bay there actually, over the hill. Uh, tried a few long exposures from here. Uh, square crops with a 18 to 55 and a few 16 by 9 uh, aspect ratio. Used the four stop, uh, sorry, I used a polarizer and a four stop, and then I used a polarizer and a 10 stop. And for one shot, I did all three, but that didn't work out very well, I don't think. But yeah, there we are. Here's Lisa. We're uh, absolutely amazing. Very short hike, but certainly well worth it. And it's absolutely yeah. glorious. I'll pan you around a bit here guys, I'll just pan you around just so you get a look at it, what it's like. This F1 landscape photography road trip has certainly been worth it so far. Loving it. What do you mean F1? What's F1? Well, well Thomas Heaton and Nick Page and Adam Gibbs and Gavin all had a, a road trip, they called it the F4 road trip because there was four of them and it was awesome. So I thought I'm only one so I'll do the F1 road trip. Oh, what am I? This is, it should be F2. Uh, but I have a Fuji. Well, I have, I have a camera. What do you think, guys? F1, F2? F2. Let, let, let's call it the F1.5 road trip. So I would be F1 and you're going to be 0. 0.5? Well, I don't think that's going to work. I like this anyway. No. It should be F2.
So I think that's about it from this uh, South Head Lighthouse Trail. It's been absolutely spectacular guys. So uh, all that's left to say is thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for the gallery. They're going to be absolutely fantastic images. At least I hope they are. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You'll be helping out the channel. All that's left to say is uh, cheers for now and I'll see you in the next one.